easy copy up this way. But anyhow, uh, you guys... Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. We're up here in the radio shack here at the homestead and in this video we're going to update the firmware in the ICOM IC7300. Now in this video I'm just going to go through the steps of updating the firmware. This video is not intended to replace reading section 15 of the owner's manual. If you're going to attempt this firmware update I suggest reading this section two or three times before you even start because if you get it wrong you could brick the radio and you may have to send it all the way back to ICOM in Japan to get the radio reloaded. Now I've already skipped ahead on a couple of steps and already captured that with the desktop software here and getting the SD card ready with the firmware on it. Here I have a SD card. I'm going to go ahead and insert that in the radio for now so it's ready for the firmware update. The file needed to update the firmware is already on that SD card. Alright, now we're going to roll over to the desktop capture software, but before we walk through the steps of what I did last night to download the file, I do want to mention that the SD card that I'm working with was formatted in the radio. There's a function under the menu, then set to format the card within the radio. And what that does is create a file structure on the SD card that the radio needs to work with. You don't want to format the SD card in your computer. You want to format the SD card first in the radio, then remove or unmount the SD card from the radio, move it over to your PC, and then you can put the new firmware file onto the SD card. So here we are on the web page for icom.co.jp. This is their page actually out in Japan. And we're going to go out and download that file from the ICOM IC7300 section. We're downloading version 1.14. The radio is currently 1.13. Now at the bottom they have an agree button, but it's actually the download button. So I'm going to right click this now and save the file as into a specific folder that I already created on the desktop so I can find it later when I want to move the file over. So now we're downloading that file now. This file is zipped, so you're going to need to unzip it or extract it. I unzipped it in the same folder that I downloaded it to, again so I can find it later. There's the folder. There's the zip file. We're going to go ahead and extract. That was a right click. We're going to extract it within that folder. So it's going to create a subfolder in that folder. And there's the file for the firmware upgrade. We now have it in that folder. So now I know where it's at. Now I move the SD card from the radio over to the computer because it's already formatted in the radio. We're going to browse out to my drives and find that removable drive. And here you see the file structure that the radio created when it formatted the card. We're going to open up that folder where I downloaded the file. Drag that file over to the SD card in the IC-7300 folder. It's going to copy over. We now have the file on the SD card. We're going to go ahead and properly eject this removable drive from the computer. So we're going to select that drive, right click, and eject. So now that SD card is safe to remove from the computer. And now we'll go ahead and move the SD card over to the radio. All right, we're ready to go. I've got the SD card inserted in the radio. I'm going to press Menu, Set, SD card, Firmware Update. Now I get a lot of warning screens here. Again, make sure you read Section 15 in the manual before you attempt this. And I agree to all these terms and the risk. I'm going to hit yes. There's the file. We're going to tap the file. We're going to say yes. Do the update. And there it goes. We're updating the firmware file. It eventually did take when I hit the yes. It might have been the double tap or the persistent hold. But now we're writing that firmware. Firmware upgrade has been complete. The radio is rebooting. And now we have a 1.14 in the lower right hand corner. But if you want to check the version, we can hit menu, set, other, information, version and our main CPU is now version 1.14 so that completes the upgrade of the firmware in the ICOM IC7300 again 
Make sure you read section 15 of your manual. Just don't follow this video to do it. Read through this several times. But it looks like it's relatively easy and we're now updated. We're ready to operate and use the radio. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with an ICOM IC7300 firmware update video. Thanks for watching guys.